Now we're back to learning mid journey. This time I'm going to talk about the describe command. Just slash describe. You'll get this drag and drop option. You may want to go to mid journey explorer or to a Google image search, whatever. You can use any photo that you want, but I'm on YouTube, so I'm not going to use copyrighted photos. Let me just use this one as an example. I download it. Then I drag and drop it here once it has finished downloading. You can see it now. You can delete it right here, remove attachment. If you just press enter, the mid journey bot will process it. And now it's thinking. And here are four prompt examples. You can imagine it all, but for its work, you need to have your fast generations active. So relaxed doesn't work. I've got relaxed active. I don't want to waste anything here. You can click on the last option right here, which is going to give you four more prompts. So you could say it's a prompt variation. And if you click on one up to four, this prompt will be used in a new window. You can adjust the aspect ratio here and even play around with the prompt, change it, delete parts, add parts, whatever. And then click on submit. And now the typical four images will be created based on this new prompt. Let me recycle it again. You can see here the first four, second four, and here at the bottom we now have four more. And they're all just variations of one another. So they're somewhat similar. You can delete them here by clicking on the X. Let us go to the documentation. Not much info here on the describe command. It just tells you that it's going to give you a prompt description of the image and the aspect ratio is also given. You can also have that externally done. So outside of mid journey, for example, here using a clip interrogator, it takes a little bit of time. It's free to use, so if you want to use that, but when you've got access to Midjourney, this is definitely the better option. It's way faster. You're not part of queue. You don't have to wait. You've seen in our first try, it was like five seconds and there was a result. Let us now have a look at these four images. I've changed the aspect ratio, so it's not that similar, but it used the same color palette. There's also a female face and there's a little bit of an abstract feel to it. Let me show you something else. We'll use an image from Unsplash right here. Just a landscape image, but this one's way too big. When you upload an image to Midjourney or to Discord in this case, it might look fine. And then you confirm. So Discord allows you to upload it, but Midjourney sees it as invalid as the image is too large. When that happens, just use a compressor, for example, for JPEGs here. I drag and drop this landscape photo onto it. Already runs, it compresses now, and afterwards you can download it. I've already done that so that we don't have to wait. So let me switch back to Discord, describe, and now I paste the smaller one. It's the same photo, but now here it says min.jpg, so it's a smaller file size. I confirm, and now it's thinking, so it works. And it gives me four prompts based on this landscape photo. I'm going to link to the compressor. There's also a PNG compressor, so if you don't use JPEGs. Let me show you a use case. For example, I have this Batman photo on Unsplash. I'll paste it here. And mid journey, think a little bit. And now we've got a couple of prompts. We use number one. And I want to use this now for character design. So I get rid of Batman, because Batman is a very 
strong indicator of what the design is going to look like. I'll make it comic hero or superhero and then I prompt it. Let me change the aspect ratio to 5 by 6 and here second prompt I make it 16 by 9 and I change it to superhero costume. So not comic hero but superhero. And now we let it work here. In the meantime our clip interrogator has finished so this also works. Once again, if you have access to Midjourney, you don't really need this. Let me speed up the video so that we have our characters created. And here we are now. Obviously, there is a strong resemblance, but it's a different design. Especially the first one right here. Third one, it's still Batman. But the other three, you can use them and you can use the variation button to have, in principle, unlimited character designs. Imagined by Midjourney. Comic one didn't turn out well, so this prompt wasn't the best. But you can see how this can be used to just brainstorm character designs that you may want to use in your comics or in your stories. I'm going to link to the documentation, the clip interrogator, the compression, and unsplash. So check that out. And I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.